Hello everyone, Reefer Gill here. This video I want to talk about my RODI system. I've been running this for about a year or so. The filters were getting dirty so I decided to change them out. And at the same time I decided to give my RO filter an uh, upgrade. You can see that this was a Coral Life Pure Flow 2 50 gallon per day unit. However, I'm going to upgrade it to a 75 gallon per day BRS unit and uh, changing out all the carbon filters and actually changing the direction in which the water flows from one chamber to the next. The reason I had to change the direction of the water flow was because originally this sediment filter, which is very dirty, uh, was in the first stage followed by a carbon filter followed by the membrane so it went sediment to carbon then from carbon to the membrane, from the membrane it went to this last stage which was a uh, DI resin stage. Now what I've done, I've changed it out because I have my standalone DI resin off to the side there. So the water is going to come into the sediment stage, go into uh, the carbon stage, go into a second uh, carbon stage and then from the carbon stage it's going to go to the membrane from the membrane it will go out to the RODI and out to my product water there are a variety of different ways you can set up your RO system some people prefer to use two sediment filters one here one here and then just one carbon filter some people prefer to do what I've done and use two carbon filters this is a 5 micron carbon filter and then it gets smaller in the last stage to I think 0.6 carbon filter I've even heard of people adding a GFO to one of these as it uh, goes through your RO system. But there are variances. This is the way I've decided to go with it. Just pretty simple and straightforward. The sediment and the carbon to the membrane to the DI resin. Because I'm upgrading this from a 50 gallon per day unit to a 75 gallon per day unit, I also have to change up the flow restrictor that comes out of the waistline. The flow restrictor is uh, 70, rated for 75 gallons per day. Again, this is all bulk reef supply up, upgrades uh, to include the flow restrictor. I'm also installing a flush kit for the membrane. The flush kit is great because you turn this valve here and it releases all the water from the membrane so it gives it a longer life and longevity. The membrane itself is um, going to be installed today as well. It's just a 75 gallon per day uh, membrane. It's pretty basic. The membrane, flow restrictor, and flush kit are now installed. When it comes to ratios, the industry standard is for every four parts of wastewater, you should create one part of product water. If you think of the membrane here as a UV sterilizer, a UV sterilizer requires the right amount of flow for the UV to penetrate the water, kill off bacteria or parasites. If the water flows too fast, it's not going to be able to accomplish its task. It's similar to what the membrane does. If water is flowing too quickly through the membrane, the membrane is not going to be able to remove all the minerals and actually you'll be, able, you'll be able to damage the membrane and reduce its life expectancy if the water is rushing through it too fast. Currently I'm running one parts waste to one part product water. That's letting me know the water is going through there pretty quickly. The only thing that I can say is my tap water is coming out at 20 so it's pretty low number. I cannot figure out why I'm getting a one-to-one -one ratio. I've changed out all the pre-filters and the membrane flow restrictor. In fact if I remove the flow restrictor and let the RODI system run it's still a one-to-one -one ratio. I checked the waistline it's not clogged I'm getting about 85 PSI, which is uh, pretty high, but it's a decent rate. So I'm stumped. Uh, I don't know what to do. Um, it's zero TDS coming out, and like I said, out of the top water, tap water, it's 20 TDS going into it. Um, so yeah, I'm stumped. I don't know why I'm getting a one to one ratio, but it's something I'm going to have to look into to see if I can correct that. A simple way to figure out the ratio of your RODI or RO unit is to take a measuring cup, put the product line in here, let it run for one minute, note the measurement, 
and then take the wastewater line, let it run for one minute, take the measurement, divide the waste water to the product water and that should give you a ratio. You should have about a four to one ratio for this thing to be working properly. Uh, people go down to two to one ratios if uh, the water quality is okay to do that and at three to one ratios as well. Anything over a four to one ratio though, you might wanna start looking to make sure that your water pressure is, is adequate and also ensure that your flow restrictor is properly seated inside the wastewater line and that it is for the proper amount of gallons per day. So if you're running 75 gallon per day unit, you don't want a flow restrictor for 100 gallons. Here's a closer look at the RODI unit. You can see the water pressure is about 84, to 84 pounds. And then the TDS going in is about 20. That's from the tap. TDS going out to the product bin is zero. The TDS going out to the waistline is 22. Here's the flow restrictor. And this is the flush kit that I installed as well. When you install the pre-filters and the uh, membrane for the first time, you want to run everything for about an hour, discard the product water, and then you can start making water after that. If you guys have any questions or comments or any advice on how I can fix this one-to-one -one ratio issue I'm having, please note them down below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.